Good morning, YouTube. My name is Tommy. I got up at 4.30 this morning and I could not go back to sleep, so it's gonna be a sunrise on the beach type of morning. Got my new banana mesh tank on. Because we are at the beach this morning, I wanted to talk about what it's like living in Florida as a gay man. There's a lady feeding birds over there, which is fine, but birds make me anxious. <laughs> Here she is. Yeah. Just don't feel like getting pooped on today. Not today. Before I give you guys the details about what it's like to be a gay person in Florida, I'm gonna go take a little sunrise dip. I also just really have to pee. Just being honest. It blows my mind that it's mid-January and the ocean water is still like bath water. It's so warm. Speaking of warm, let's talk about living in Florida as a gay person. If you guys don't know my backstory, I was born and raised in Orlando, Florida, so where Disney World is, and I didn't come out until around college time. Some of you may know, I lived in Colorado for four years, and then this past summer, I moved to Miami, Florida. I've gotten quite a few comments on my YouTube videos asking why anybody would move to Florida if they are gay. Some person even asked me why I was willing to give my tax dollars to Ron DeSantis. Number one, I did not move to Florida to support Ron DeSantis. I can promise you that. I'm not gonna make any more comments about him, but all I'm gonna say is that I moved to Florida because I have family here. What people don't realize if they've never been to Florida is that Florida has a lot of gay people. Florida in the past couple of years has definitely gotten a bad rap as far as LGBTQ rights go. And I completely agree, and that rap is justified completely. But that doesn't mean that there aren't LGBTQ people in Florida who are living a happy life. It is worth noting that it's very easy for me to say this as a white male who happens to be gay in Florida. I would love to hear some other perspectives in the comments below. As far as being gay friendly, I've noticed that different parts of the state operate in different ways. For example, I wouldn't feel very comfortable as a gay man living in Tallahassee or Pensacola or even Jacksonville. So the northern part of the state, I don't think I'd feel too comfortable. However, Tampa, Orlando, and South Florida are pretty darn gay friendly. Wilton Manors, which is about 30 minutes north of here, kind of near Fort Lauderdale, is the second largest gay city by population in the U.S. That's second to Provincetown, or P-Town as you might know it. Are there people in Florida that don't like gay people? 
yes, of course, there are people in Florida that don't like gay people. There are people in every single U.S. state that don't like gay people. However, from what I've seen in Florida, as far as the gay scene goes, gay people are not letting that stop them. I'm sure you heard of the potential drag show ban that was about to happen in Florida. And what I do want to tell you is that no drag queen stopped performing because of that. The gay community, especially in South Florida, was very resistant to that change. And people spoke up and still performed. A lot of people have asked why I would not boycott the state of Florida and why I complain about some LGBTQ laws in Florida. Well, that's tough because I have family that lives in Florida and Florida is a beautiful place. I don't believe in running away from a problem. I believe in staying and fighting for rights. If I can make Florida more gay, then that is a win in my book. I love the beach. I love Disney World. I'm a big Disney World fan. There are so many pros to Florida. Obviously, the pros come with cons, but you have to step back and think about what's important to you. For me, it's family and it's warm weather. So those two things point to Florida. If you are visiting Florida or if you're wanting to potentially move to Florida and you'd like to know more about the anti-LGBTQ laws that have been put into place in the last couple of years in Florida, I actually have a video about those laws that I made this past fall. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link to that in the description below. For me, if I can wake up to this beautiful sunrise and be close to my family and not have seasonal depression, it's a win for me. I could sit here and complain all day about how the Florida political system is absolute garbage, but instead of doing that, I'm going to live my life and I'm also going to fight for gay rights because that's what I believe in. We don't want to go back to a 1950s way of life. We want change, we want equality, we want activism, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to stay here and fight. We're not going to run away. We are going to live our best lives. We're going to keep doing drag shows because I love a good drag show, especially at Palace in Miami. It's a wonderful show. All in all, I have enjoyed my time in Florida. Am I upset with some of the laws that have been passed? Yeah, absolutely, but that's not going to stop me from living my best life. I gotta pee again. I drink so much iced coffee. Before I head out, I have some news for you guys. And no, I'm not pregnant at the moment, but I started a Patreon account. If you're interested in seeing any of this extra content, the behind the scenes, the extra footage from videos, the speedo pictures that I'm taking on a daily basis, basically, then go check out my Patreon account. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's also a place where we can chat. So if you want to have a discussion with me, if you want me to engage in comments, Patreon is a place where I can engage with you guys on a deeper level. If that's something you're interested in, then check out the Patreon link in the description below. I'm excited to talk with you guys.
Thank you guys for joining me this morning. It was a beautiful sunrise, and I hope I was able to give you guys some insight on what it's like to live as a gay man in Florida. Now, like I said earlier, I can't possibly have every single perspective of every single LGBTQ person in Florida. So if you have a different perspective, I would love to hear that in the comments below. I hope everybody has a fabulous and safe day. Remember to love yourself, do something you enjoy. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys for watching every single week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you guys. Peace out.